Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some affirmations you can be using right now in order to either manifest or expedite your manifestation, see some movement in the 3D, okay? These affirmations you know, will hopefully give you inspiration on um, just like what to affirm. Hopefully it'll keep you motivated when it comes to your manifestation. Sorry if that sentence made no sense at all. Um, I don't really know what to title these videos. I feel like, um, you know, this is kind of like a check-in to see like what, you know, affirmations you could be um, using to manifest like in the moment. Like maybe if some of your affirmations you feel like they're not working, maybe you'll hear some affirmations in this video and you'll be like, oh, that sounds nice. Let me use that. Or you know, alternatively, if you do hear some affirmations in this video that you have already been using, that could be a sign for you to um, continue to use them, okay? Um, I'm a manifestation coach. I, you know, do, like, obviously, like, coaching on manifestation. I get a lot of questions about, like, um, what type of affirmations I should be using. Like, what should I affirm? Should I, like, stick with my affirmations? Should I use new affirmations? At the end of the day, something I really, really, really want you all to understand, internalize, know, is that you create the rules. You tell yourself, like, okay, if I affirm this and this for this and this, minutes or these this much and this much time whatever um this many times i will get my manifestation okay if you feel like a certain affirmation isn't working maybe you're not affirming it enough or maybe you do need to switch it up honestly it is up to you you get to create the rules personally for me i would just say that whatever i do is working whatever i'm doing is leading me closer to my manifestations that's not to say i don't like reading about manifestation studying you know manifestation um just learning about manifestation, you know, the neuroscience band manifestation, finding new affirmations, okay? I will still, like, do that, you know, just to kind of, like, um, I guess implement new, like, techniques, methods, so, like, I can teach others about them. But for me, like, I have a personal set of rules that I, like, you know, adhere to that really help me manifest, okay? Like, I do have a lot of affirmations. Sometimes I'll have days where I just like, you know, script an entire page or whatever comes to mind. Um, sometimes I will just affirm for 10 minutes a day. Shout out to Sammy Ingram for that method. Um, you know, just affirming for 10 minutes a day and having a counter app to see how many times you affirm is really great because it will help your um, subconscious mind understand like how you manifest, you know, what's been working well for you, how many times you needed to affirm to manifest this, what, you know, you're pretty solid at, what you need more work in, okay? It's really a matter of getting to know yourself and how you manifest. But um, the number one rule about manifestation, especially using the law of assumption, is that you create the rules, okay? The first assumption you should be making is that I manifest easily and effortlessly. Whatever I do is bringing me that much closer to my manifestations or it's giving me my manifestations right away. It's helping me quantum jump to the timeline where I have my manifestations, you know, whatever you resonate with, okay? So um, you get to decide Decide, like what information is relevant to you what information isn't um, what affirmations work for you what you you know maybe don't need to affirm because it doesn't sound natural to you I also think the best way to you know create affirmations or well, the best affirmations you should be using are ones that sound natural to you okay and they should be affirmations that you create um, I myself like I I'm kind of like a meticulous person okay so you will see that a lot of my or hear hear that a lot of my affirmations are very like um I, I don't know the right word like maybe they're written in like cursive or they're a little bit too like wordy um or like I don't know like just advanced in a way rather than like simple affirmations like oh I manifest fast like, I like just you know kind of um making sure that I have like every single you know aspect of my manifestation secured um but, you know, the other thing I will say is that if at times I don't feel like affirming, you know, long sentences, I will just create the assumption that like, hey, I manifest, you know, like I will like create like a phrase for something like I manifest fast. And then like um, in a book or something, I will literally script like, OK, manifesting fast looks like this, this and this. I always manifest in a week. I always, um, you know, manifest like. In, like just whatever that look like, actually you know let me backtrack maybe that wasn't the best example but um let's say i'm manifesting something for love like um i'm i always manifest my perfect relationship i always manifest my dream person or it's easy for me to manifest my dream person it's easy for me to manifest my perfect relationship i will write down what a perfect relationship looks like to me you know how my person's going to be treating me how the relationship is going to look like how much time we spend together you know 
maybe even like the timeline on timeline on when I want to like move in or like get married or something like that. You know, I like being really specific about, you know, things. I'll, I also do like being surprised. I mean, like you can kind of mix it up. You can be like, okay, well, I want this and this to happen. But I also like, you know, romantic surprises, but just get really clear on what it is that you want. And you can create like a phrase that just like encompasses all of that. Like I'm in my perfect relationship. I'm in my dream relationship. Okay, so, um, you know, do whatever works best for you. If you're the type of person where you want to say the whole thing, I'm in my dream relationship where my person's always spoiling me, giving me attention, spending time with me, giving me gifts, you know, that's fine too. Do whatever you want. Do whatever sounds most natural to you, but just create the assumption that like, okay, whatever I do is working. Okay, because that is true. Whatever you are doing is working. Even if you don't see it in the 3D, I guarantee you the minute you started affirming, things already started shifting, things already started changing. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what you can be affirming right now. Um, okay, the first card here is, I'm magnetic, irresistible, and irreplaceable. Oh my gosh, I used to say this so much, especially in my earlier videos, if you check out my Law of Assumption playlist. I'm magnetic, irresistible, and ir irreplaceable. This has personally helped me gain so much in life, okay? And like just, this has helped me see a lot of progress and movement when it comes to my love life, when it even comes to my career life, especially the irreplaceable part. Um, I think I said this in another video, but basically I've gotten like, oh, I've said this in a lot of videos, I got promoted in a raise and you know, that just showed that I was irreplaceable at work. Even in my love life, I literally had like one of my SPs say to me, like, you're like, you're not like anyone else. Like there's no one like you. And like, he actually used the word irreplaceable, which just like blew me away. I was like, that's exactly what I was affirming. And you reflected that back to me. Like that was insane. Okay. So this one really does work. And also I have like other exes, like, you know, come out of the woodwork because they realized like, you know, I was like giving off that irreplaceable energy. Like, I'm the one that got away. You're never going to find anyone like me, okay? <laughs> yeah, but this is just a great way to, um, first of all, you know, this is a self-concept affirmation to kind of like redirect the energy to yourself and make yourself more like magnetic. And I, I don't know if you believe in energy or not. It's up to you. I personally like still do believe in energy, but just like, you know, this is just a great like self-love, self-concept affirmation. And, you know, when you see yourself as this irreplaceable magnetic person, other people will, will reflect that back to you, okay? So, yeah. Um, okay. This is, I'm the best asset everywhere I go. So you can be like, I'm the best partner. I am the best. Honestly, this isn't just like a love, like affirmation advice video. It's for everything. But you can say things like, I'm the best partner they've ever had. I'm the best girlfriend, the best boyfriend, the best wife, the best husband ever, or the best one they've ever had. Okay. Um, also just affirmation. I'm the best asset everywhere I go. Like, you know, that's really great. If you want to see movement um, in your career life, like if you want promotions, raises, like this is something that I was affirming a lot. And um, boy, did I get that reflected back to me. I got a gold award. I got a shout out from my manager to the whole team. I got a shout out from my skip level, skip levels manager so five managers above me um yeah just uh, in a lot of places even like when i volunteered and stuff like they'd be like wow thank you so much like you were so helpful like you're one of the best people we've had in a while like just like you know compliments on like i guess like my skills and talent but also you know even when it comes to relationships i've had like um my sp tell me like you know you're the best like you're such a queen you're god but that's so weird because i would always like affirm like i'm a queen and goddess and i've had like multiple men tell me that like wow you are a goddess and you're a queen and, like that's not something that like men my age really say especially not in this day and time and yeah it, it was kind of crazy how that happened um i even have a screenshot i'm gonna go ahead and put that in this video but that is like what my sp what my boyfriend said to me yeah um, okay, so this says, okay, it is easy for me to focus on the positive and the good, okay, it is easy for me to focus on the positive aspects of life, it is easy for me to focus on the reality where I have what I want, it's easy for me to focus on only good things or only good things are happening to me, only positive things are happening to me. Um, yeah, I think this is a really good affirmation that first of all will help for your mental health a lot because I've had clients that just like, you know, told me like, oh my gosh, I'm just so anxious when it comes to everything, like a time that I just cannot get myself up to firm. Like honestly, put yourself first, okay? Put yourself on the pedestal, prioritize yourself, you know, do what you got to do to make you feel good, okay? And trust me, like affirmations really, really do help in, you know, the mental health aspect, the, you know, that area of life as well. Obviously, like, you know, this video is not a replacement for therapy. You seek, like, professional help if that is something that you feel like you need. But I will say that, you know, when I affirm things, like, it's easy for me to focus on positive thoughts. All my thoughts are positive. It's easy for me to focus, um, you know, on the positives of other people. It's easy for me to assume the best of other people, even people that, you know, have hurt me in the past that I'm no longer in contact with, that no guys I don't really want to be in contact with. I see them in a positive way. Like, okay, even though this and this happened, I remember we had some really great times, and that's what I focus 
on and I'm going to leave it at that. Like, same with your um, person. Like for a lot of you, you know, I get clients that come to me and say things like, you know, I still want my SD, but they piss me off so much. Okay. Like they have really just, um, upset me and say, I don't even know if I want to manifest them, but I do, but also like, you know, there's all this thing going, all these, you know, things going on in the 3D that are triggered. First of all, something that you have to understand is that you manifested that version of them. And if you did that, you can unmanifest that. Anything that you're seeing you don't like, um, at least you know, like, okay, that's not what I want anymore. And you can create a counter affirmation for that. Like, let's say your person is following like, um, you know, a bunch of like girls or guys or like, adult content creators and you're saying what is this person doing that is triggered um because I actually had a client like you know who came to me and said that and I was like just affirm that you're the only like you know you're the only like romantic interest that they're following or you know they've unfollowed these other people because I've had like actually multiple clients um update me and say like wow like my SP actually unfollowed so many people they went on like an unfollowing rampage their following count went down um or follow yeah following count went down and like they only you know um like they still followed like my client but like any sort of like romantic prospects like sometimes you know guys will follow a bunch of like you know pretty girls and you know vice versa it's, yeah um i've had like multiple clients report to me and say like that they're not doing that anymore and i was just like you know what like this is possible like i've also seen that happen with my sp that like, they stopped uh there's an sp that i was manifesting in the past like he stopped following like you know a bunch of um like pretty girls and i was like okay you know like that's good because it's like honestly like who really wants to be with them I mean teach their own okay but personally like I think that you know it was a red flag so I would literally just say things like you know the people that I date don't have any red flags there's only green flags okay um they're they are the perfect partner they're very loyal to me and only me well yeah they're loyal to me there's no one else like you know I'm like I'm irreplaceable you know using that first affirmation you know saying things like yeah there's only green flags you know that that's a good way to kind of just like completely change the situation you know make it work for you so yeah um it's easy to focus on the positives it's easy for me to create positive assumptions with people it is easy for me to um you know only see the positives in people okay uh, any sort of variation of this whatever sounds most natural to you you know go ahead and use that let's go ahead and pick one more card here um okay I yeah, I am so grateful for all I have. Yeah, so you don't necessarily need to do gratitude affirmations, but I've noticed it helps a lot, you know? Um, and it's also a good way to, like, live in the end. Like, I'm so grateful that my person always spoils me, always treats me well. I'm so grateful that my person and I are in a happy, healthy, committed relationship. I'm so grateful that I'm in the best relationship of my life. I'm in the relationship of my dreams. I'm so grateful that, you know, my person just treats me like the queen and goddess or king and god that I am, you know? Whatever works best for you. I feel like um, this is kind of similar to, like, isn't it wonderful, you know, if you've heard of that Neville Goddard would say things like, you know, if you want to live in the end, say things like, oh, isn't it wonderful that, you know, SP and I are together? Isn't it wonderful that um, I have my dream job with all the benefits that I want, okay? Something that implies that you are in the end. Um, another thing you can do is like, visualize you telling your friend like oh my gosh like we got back together or visualize telling your friend like oh my gosh we're getting married like you're the first one I want to invite um or you know just like go to the end and go a little bit after that like I once heard someone talk about um I believe this is Joseph Ally and this was I think also something that, yeah Neville, Neville Goddard talked about like if you want to get married to a person envision um you can envision the wedding itself but you can also envision you and your person writing thank you guard guards thank you cards to the attendees at your wedding or you can envision your one year anniversary where you're like giving them a gift or they're giving you a gift you know go to the end and go a little bit after that that's also something that um helps a lot but again just assume that whatever you're doing is working you know whatever method technique you're doing affirmation scripting whatever it's just always working for you because that is true it is always working for you minute like you consciously affirm or sometimes even like unconsciously subconsciously like affirm or want something you do get that okay but I feel like for a lot of you you give up too fast and you know you'll give up and you'll be like actually no I still want this person and it's like you know you could have just used that time to like you know change up the reality change up anything you don't like you know for a lot of you it's like you'll see movement but then you'll see something that will bring you down and then you'll stop for a bit and then you'll go back and add at the end of the day, you do what you want. If you want to give up on like certain manifestations because you're like, you know what, now I'm above this, I don't want this, that's totally fine too. I have given up on like the very first SP that I was manifesting. I was like, you know what, screw this, like I'm above this. I know that if I really wanted to, I could have manifested him to be a much better version of himself. And I did start seeing changes and improvement, but that at that point, I just had like such a high self concept that I'm like, you know what, screw it. But again, I'm never gonna like, you know, say like, oh, you shouldn't manifest this person or whatever. Like, whoever they are, they can change. Reality is malleable, people are malleable, timelines are malleable, okay? 
So yeah, that's just another reminder. Um, okay, I will go ahead and end the video right here. If you do want manifestation coaching, check out my website, which will be in the description box below. I also do tarot readings. I also custom make promos that help you manifest. And I also do have a guide out on my Etsy that will help you manifest as well. Um, I have like specific affirmations and a mini workbook thing that you can do that will really, really help you manifest um, the relationship of your dreams. And yeah, I will go ahead and end the video right here for real. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.